second Niger bridge will partially be opened by December. Federal Government Reviews, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. The announcement will bring respite to commuters playing the ever busy Asabato and Nature Road. The Federal Government has made a new revelation in the state of the second Niger bridge. The Federal Government on Wednesday said that the second Niger bridge will partially be open for public use during the Yuli tide. The announcement will bring respite to commuters plying the ever busy Asaba to Anicha Road. The Minister of Works and Housing, Babatuni Raja Fashola, son, disclosed this while feeding questions from State House correspondent at the event of the weekly Federal Executive Council FEC meeting presided over by President Muhammad Buhari at the Council Chamber, Presidential Villa Abuja. The minister said that the federal government was favorably disposed to open a section of the second Niger bridge partially for public use this December to reduce the heavy gridlock on the existing bridge. According to him, considering the untold hardship commuters go through on the Sabato Nature Road, especially on the old Niger bridge during the festive period, like Christmas and New Year, the federal government has decided to open one section of the second Niger bridge in December. He said the bridge is almost completed, although work is still ongoing. The bridge route from Asaba end of the the bridge routes from Asaba end of the bridge, adding that works have been completed on the approach route from Onicha end. He said traffic will be diverted to the west bound of the new bridge after the festivities. The former Lagos State Governor also revealed that the government will close the entire second Niger bridge after the ULT to enable the contractors complete the project and formally hand it over to the Nigerian government. He blamed the delay in the completion of the second Niger bridge by the present administration to many factors, especially the high rate of inflation, which has made the cost of the project to increase astronomically. Fashola, however, promised that the project will be completed and commissioned by President Muhammad Buhari before he leaves office in May 2023. Uh well, you see why you say you see that particular listen, make hay while the sun shine. Make hay while the sunshine is very, very important. For everybody that has been dragging their leg over doing one particular thing or the other, and that particular thing has to do with you, you know, taking money and buying things, Oga. Huh. If you have not been buying it before now, Yawa go gas for you. Let's say there is something you want to do and you have to do with money buying and money spending. The best thing to do for yourself is to look for solutions. And they tell you, look for solutions because automatically, let's say for instance, now you went to build a house. Let's say maybe they don't give you bills since August. And uh, this is December. I have not started. Just there is no way that same um, bill will give you go work. It can't work. This one is not a matter of uh, make it work. Holy shisha, we'll not be able to work. So, um, I like the idea of opening it all, but I just hope it's going to be safe, sharp. I sincerely like the idea of opening it so that um, the Southeasterners, and not just the Southeasterners, those are going to be, you know, traveling for to and fro, um, to and fro, this is the, that particular region, they're going to at least, we still go face traffic for another place, can't see a good that their bridge, can go see face another traffic. So I think it's actually a very right decision, provided the rich is going to be able to, you know, assist and, um, 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 what's it called, Re reduce traffic. Okay. Now, partially and not fully, from 2021 to December 22 to December 2023 to partially, only God know what we follow next, maybe before election or after election. They said... The bridge is going to be completed 23, but they are going to open it partially 2020. That's this December 2022. Have you taken the lesson from the last flooding to do the needful against future occurrence? Mm, well, I don't know. Story If you keep shifting the goalposts, blaming everything you know, mobilize job well and they will deliver that entry within a week. We are talking of festive period. What now that people are already suffering due to gridlock on a daily basis after the COVID and COVID-19 lockdown? So, um, people don't come as I say, make them yara, make them good body, say, make them do fast. Say, if money, um, what's it all? 
uh, that they should try and hasten things up. Now, I think people they talk because truly, for a very long time, in fact, we don't hear for a very long time. They said the bridge will be ready in October, and now they actually said it that they're going to open it partially in December. And now again, they're telling us that there's every possibility that the um, bridge is going to be opened in. The bridge is going to be opened, uh, you know, it's going to be commissioned in 2023. You know, they're telling them to be fast about it. <laughs> okay. Um, let's just, let's just hope, Sha. Because like that particular, this particular festive period, a lot of things happened that takes people um, to take that, um, that Niger and that bridge. That will go, that will help. A lot, and we go a long way to ease the head bridge regular hold ups a bit, especially during the latent seasons. Especially me, that's what I said. People who normally come and tell me that, ah, eh, we hear people that, oh, they spent five hours, they spent eight hours on the particular spots. You know, I think it is going to do a whole lot. It's going to do a lot. It's not a small relief, you go relieve them. But uh, like I said, they should just make sure it is um, the part they want to open is actually safe and ready. Okay. Mm. A lot of people have the opinion that um, you know the might even finish project, and I'm saying let me leave that particular one. Yes, it is true that these people have promised and promised and promised, and so oh, that's October. I think they said October, November that are going to commission this project, but you don't pass. But no wahala. Let them come. Let them. Let them come and. Uh, how do I even put it now? Let them um, let us see first if to uh, end uh, what's it called? I say January. Let us see if at the end of the day, this particular bridge then go round about twenty twenty three before we have or we'll start complaining. Hmm? Let us see that first. That's what people are saying. And uh, like I said, I think one thing they should also look into is. Apart from the traffic, hmm? uh, they should also tighten the security. Yes, as they're talking about, isn't the traffic. A lot of kidnappings are said to be going on. Um, what's it called on the road? I'm sorry, I have to bring it into this particular news. I, I, I guess to come on. Yes, they should make sure that um, they do the needful. People are going to be moving around a lot. Maybe everybody get money for flight ticket, and they know. So, this is even the more reason why they should, um, you know, tighten security. Hmm? You tighten security. When I mean tighten security, I don't mean make people's life a living hell. I don't mean send people to go out on the road and start collecting one two hundred naira, one one thousand or one five hundred naira. I don't mean that. I mean tightening security for the main purpose of security because that money where they collect, I gas to come. The money where they collect, they make them sometimes. They only do their work. So, um, Nigerians, speak we give these people to you. Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, do after elections. And when they won't go, make we see if they will really round up the project. I'll be really, really happy. In fact, it will be a plus to them if they round it up. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning into.